There's no shame in admitting that long-haul flights can be a bit of a nightmare. Being practically trapped in an airborne metal tube of sorts for long hours can be a taxing experience for even the most frequent flyers, but long-haul travel doesn't necessarily have to be an anxiety-inducing, uncomfortable experience. We put together a list of some nifty tips and tricks that'll help make the experience more comfortable. First up, buy your ticket as early as you can. Long-haul flights are all about preparation. Preparation. If you don't have enough time to mentally and physically prepare yourself before your travels, you're bound to be in a world of anxious pain. We wouldn't recommend waiting till the last moment for a price drop to book your tickets. The $20 you might or might not end up saving just isn't worth the trouble. Not only does booking your ticket as soon as your plans are set give you the perfect head start, it also gives you plenty of early bird advantages. Earlier bookings increase the possibility of more open seats, giving you a wider pool to choose your most important companion in your long-haul journey. Whether you prefer to enjoy the window seat or like to have access to the aisle or want to put in a few good stretches in the exit row, an early ticket is your best bet at getting any of that. Wait till the last minute and you just might find yourself in the dreaded middle seat sandwiched between chatty strangers or worse, armrest hoggers. Next, wear a comfortable outfit. We know the urge to travel in style and there's that glimmer of hope that the airline might upgrade you to first class if you fit the bill but we absolutely insist on resisting the urge to dress up in uncomfortably fashionable outfits. Skin-tight jeans, fitted blouses, stiff denim, and uncomfortable shoes are a hard no. You might like what you see in the mirror at first, but trust us, after having to sit and attempt to sleep in those rather binding clothes for hours on end will make you hate that outfit in the future. Instead, you could always stick to a more of a comfy yet chic dress code and opt for some good old sweats in your long journey. In addition, to that avoid wearing any clunky metallic objects like belts to make the security checks easier. The same applies to footwear. Many security checks require you to remove your shoes, so make sure the footwear you choose is comfortable and easy to kick off. While this may put a damper on your Instagrammable travel pictures, dressing more comfortably will most definitely do you a favor on your long haul flight. Up next, layers are your best friends on the journey. Long flights can often be a vicious cycle of freezing to death or overheating to death so you might prepare for both the possibilities and everything in the middle. It's best to layer your outfit. Don't just throw on a t-shirt and call it a day. Instead, add a sweater or sweatshirt over it. This way, you'll be protected from the cool gusts of air conditioner winds, and if it gets too hot, you can always take the extra layers off. Long-haul flights really take a toll on your feet, as sitting for prolonged hours tends to cause swelling. You might want to invest in a pair of compression socks. Not only will they reduce swelling, they'll keep your feet warm and comfy. According to experts, these socks can also decrease the risk of blood clots, so be sure to include these in your cart during your travel shopping spree. At number four, pack lumbar support. Airplane seats are specifically designed with an uncomfortable curve, keeping in mind the bend, don't break directive. Simply put, it's meant to protect the passenger's head, legs, and spine in the unfortunate circumstances of a crash. But on long haul flights, that C shape does nothing for the human spine. In order to avoid landing at your destination with an achy back and neck, we suggest you board the plane with your very own lumbar support. Good thing is, you can conveniently use a number of things like a blanket, a scarf, a sweater, or even a small pillow as makeshift lumbar support. Wedging any of them behind your lower back will help keep your spine in its natural shape. Up next at number five, bring your own noise-canceling headphones. While a pair of headphones is provided by airlines, they don't do too well in blocking out any of the ambient noise during flight. Background noises like the roar of the plane's engine, people chatting, or even a crying toddler can cause stress and keep you from getting some shut eye. A good pair of noise-canceling headphones will not only help keeping out unnecessary noises, they'll also come in handy as you try to kill some time with the in-flight entertainment console. We can guarantee that the headphones you pack will be far more comfortable than those one-size-fits-all plastic contraptions. Next up, choose the smallest personal item possible. On long-haul flights, every bit of legroom is sacred. Even if you're short, we still recommend limiting room to stretch your legs by stowing a needlessly big personal item under the seat in front of you. We admit that having carry-on with you through a longer flight is a necessity. However, instead of opting for clunky bags, try sticking to a versatile soft bag that can be squashed down without taking up too much of your leg space. Next, bring your own snacks. It sounds weird considering one of the beauties of long-haul flights is how well you're fed 
said in that too often. If you're preparing for your first time being airborne for this long, you should know that you'd get at least two full meals along with a mid-flight snack to curb your hunger pangs. However, in case of late night cravings when the lights are out and flight attendants are nowhere to be found, you'll thank us for the munchies in your carry-on. Carrying some of your favorite snacks with you will also save you in case of the in-flight food is, let's just say, unpalatable. At number eight, choose your in-flight meals carefully. The in-flight meals aren't always bad. In fact, they can be quite appetizing. However, we must ask you to reconsider your choice of delectable smelly food. Heavy meals tend to keep you awake. On top of that, they're more difficult to digest, especially with all this sitting in the long flight. It would be best for you and your stomach to avoid foods as well as drinks that are high on sugar, salt, or even caffeine. Same goes for alcohol. While it may help in calming down those nerves, it is extremely dehydrating. Instead, you could always opt for herbal tea. It does the trick of inducing drowsiness without the downsides of liquor. Next, keep yourself in your skin hydrated. The atmosphere inside plane cabins can be best compared with deserts, bone dry, because the level of humidity is very low. The surrounding dryness dulls the skin, and if you're not careful with your water intake, it can cause dehydration, which could also lead to a worsened jet lag situation. To keep yourself from drying out, increase your water intake. According to experts, drinking approximately 8 ounces of water per hour is vital. Now, we wouldn't suggest chugging down a big water bottle all at once. Instead, drink water at regular intervals. To keep your skin from looking like the Sahara Desert, keep a travel-friendly bottle of moisturizer in your carry-on. Also, keep a small lip balm handy to dab on your lips before they, too, dry out. You'll be doing your pores a huge favor if you stay away from makeup as well. Trust us, your skin has enough to deal with at 30,000 feet with dry cabin air and decreased blood flow. Putting makeup in the mix is just too much. At number 10, get up and stretch every once in a while. Pressurized cabins mean a lesser oxygen intake than usual, and if you don't get some of that blood pumping by getting up every now and then, you could start experiencing fatigue, headaches, swollen limbs, and even dehydration due to lower blood oxygen levels. So no matter what seat you're in, try and stretch. Maybe walk up and down the aisle to increase your blood flow. You could also throw in some exercises in the mix, non-intrusive ones of course. We don't recommend dropping down for push-ups mid-aisle. Think more on the lines rolling your shoulders or rotating your ankles. And finally, bring your own entertainment and charge your devices. While there's plenty of entertainment to choose from during such long flights, it's always good to bring along something that you enjoy. So whether there's a book you're looking forward to reading or a podcast you wanted to listen to, there's no better time to do it than on a long haul flight. But remember, to charge all your devices, if you're going to be using them for entertainment purposes, it would be extremely inconvenient to land at your destination with a dead phone. And that's a wrap on our list, folks. We hope these hacks help you in surviving your next long haul flight. Let us know your tips and tricks you swear by while traveling. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.